Hi everyone and welcome back to another review with Misty Vapor. We're going to talk about Pitbull Vape Juice. You can find them at www.pitbullvapejuice.com and as you all know Pitbull is one of my ultimate favorites and it's not just because of his juice. His juice is amazing but the person that he is, what he stands for, is right up my alley. You know, he is a pit bull rescuer, and he works with them. He donates to them, and I just think he is an all-in-all -all great human being and definitely a great juice vendor. So that being said, he's had several lines that he's come out with now. I think my ultimate favorite, since as we all know, Mr. Vapor is a dripper, um, is got to be his cloudy line. I love his premium. I even love his lazy juice. I mean, his lazy pitbull, his juice, his flavors are just spot on of what they're supposed to be. Now, this is Apple Overcast. There's just enough in there to complete the review. And this thing does not want to focus. Leave it up to the new camera to not want to work right. We're vaping this on a Pegasus with a Patriot atomizer. It's been drilled out. I'll remove this tip because that's not going to do me no justice. So Apple Overcast is an 80-20. Now, some people say, well... His cloudy line is supposed to be Max VG. Let me explain something to everybody that doesn't know this already. A vendor is only going to make their juice Max VG to the point where it still tastes like their juice. Some people, you know, think that their juice tastes best as 70-30. Others can do 100% VG and still carry the flavor. Um, he does have one flavor. It's called pineapple, pineapple pleasure, and it from the cloudy line. It is ninety six percent. That's because that flavor tastes good at ninety six percent VG. With you know, he did the eighty twenty. He did everything else, and he just kept adding the more VG to it to the point where he got it to a ninety six, and this the flavor stayed consistent. If he takes Apple Overcast to a 96% and it doesn't taste like Apple Overcast to him, he's not going to keep it. He's all about what his product tastes like. He's all about ple pleasing everybody. So that being said, let's vape with some Apple Overcast. As you see, nice dense clouds. So at 80-20, you ain't got no issues. This is definitely one of my favorite flavors. I'm, I'm a sucker for a green apple. And this is that sour green apple, candy-like, really great flavor. He, in the very beginning, and I think he still does, he carried a sour green apple, which is how I fell in love with Pitbull. In the very beginning, he was sending out three mil samples. All you had to do was send him a PM with your name, your address, the, your flavor, the flavor, two flavors that you choose, and nicotine level. And he would send out two little three mil samples so that he got his name out there and he got his flavors out there and I chose his menthol and the sour apple. This has a more intense flavor than that not by much but a little bit and all in all it's a great flavor it's a really good flavor blowing clouds it has tons of flavor it's not over flavored this is three milligram of nicotine I do believe three. 
0.3 milligrams of nicotine. And I definitely recommend it. So to all of you that have tried Pitbull Vape Juice, raise your mods. For those of you that haven't tried Pitbull Vape Juice, raise your standards. Use the coupon code Born Vapor, B O R N V A P E R, as one word, and save 20%. Go get you some of this juice. You won't be sorry. There's something on this site for everybody out there. I have not met one person that can honestly say, I've tried his juice and I don't like it. I haven't met one, so obviously the man knows what he's doing and he's doing it right. So I urge you, go get you some of this juice. And that concludes my review, and I say to you all, vape on.